Assalamualaikum and good morning everyone. Welcome to program Lepton Physics Anjuran Unit Physics College Matrikulasi Melaka. First of all, let me thank you all for coming here today. Let me introduce myself. I am Madam Nurun Ain Najwa, your physics lecturer in KMM. As you can see on the screen, our topic today is kinematic of linear motion. There are three subtopics in this chapter and I would like to concentrate on subtopic 2.3 only. 2.3 projectile motions. It is a motion where object travels at uniform velocity in horizontal direction at the same time undergoing acceleration in downward direction under the influence of gravity. Okay, let's look at this simulation of projectile motion. We have a cannonball projected with an angle of 60 degree with the initial speed of 16 meter per second. So as you can see, the green color is showing the velocity vector and the yellow color is showing the acceleration vector. So you can see that A is always downwards where A is equals to negative 9.81 meter per second. Gravity will act downwards upon the cannonball to affect its vertical motion. Gravity causes a vertical acceleration. The ball will drop vertically below its otherwise straight line initial flight. Gravity is the downward force upon a projectile that influences its vertical motion and causes the parabolic trajectory that is characteristic of projectiles. The key to analyzing two-dimensional projectile motion is to break it into two motions, one along the horizontal axis and the other along the vertical axis. To describe projectile motion completely, we must include velocity, acceleration, as well as displacement. We must find their components along the x and y axis. So guys, this is the summary for the vertical and horizontal component equation. Okay, remember Ax is always equals to zero, while Ay is equals to negative g okay upwards direction positive downward direction negative moving to the right positive and moving to the left as negative so that concludes the explanation about projectile motion let's try to do some questions to check our understanding about projectile motion Alright, let's discuss question number 1. This is question number 34 from your VX questions and from the PSPM 2012-2013 question. A ball is thrown vertically upwards from the edge of a rooftop of a tall building. It passes a 50 meter below the rooftop after 5 seconds it was thrown. Determine 1. The initial velocity of the ball 2. The time it takes to reach the maximum height and 3. The speed as it passes a point 64 meter below the starting point. Alright, number one, the initial velocity of the ball. Okay, it is thrown upwards. Okay, and the time taken to reach the ground is 5 seconds. With the displacement equals to negative 50 meter. We need to find the U. What is the initial velocity of the ball? Y 
what is the suitable equation to find u? We have S, T, A, where A is equal to negative G. Aha, uh -huh. so to find u, we can use sutai. Okay, where the equation is S equals to U T minus half G T square. Substitute all the values of S, T, and G. And we got U equals to 14.53 meter per second and the direction is upwards. Number 2, the time it takes to reach the maximum height. Remember, at maximum height, V is equal to 0 meter per second. So, we have U equals to 14.53 meter per second. We need to find T. So, what is the formula we can use to find T? Yes, we use V at V is equals to u minus gt. Substitute v with 0, u with 1453, and g is equals to 9.81. And we got t equals to 1.48 second. Last question. The speed as it passes a point 64 meter below the starting point. The displacement traveled by the ball is equal to negative 64 meter. Okay, to find V, we have U, G, S. So we can use formula. V square equals to U square minus 2GS. Substitute all the values of U, G and S. We got V equals to 38.30 meter per second. What is the direction of V? Yes, the direction of the velocity of the ball is downwards. Okay, the direction is downwards. Since the question, the question asks about speed, remember speed is a scalar. So, speed is equal to 38.30 meter per second. Okay, let's move to question number 2. This is question number 45 from your fee x question. A pebble released at rest from a bridge took 0 0.9 second to hit the water. Calculate A. The distance it fell before hitting the water and B. It speed just before hitting the water. So, what is the initial velocity of the pebble, guys? Yes, it is equal to zero because it is released at rest from a bridge. So, we need to find the displacement first since we have the time to reach the water is 0 0.9 second. So, how to find S since we have U, T and G. To answer question A, we use sutet as equals to ut minus half gt square. So we substitute our u with 0, 
j with 9.81 and t equals to 0.9 second. And we get s displacement equals to negative 3.97 meter. So why it is negative guys? Yep, because the direction is downwards. So we get displacement equals to negative 3.97 meter because displacement is a vector. So the negative sign means that the direction is downwards. So the distance scala so it is equals to positive 3.97 meter all right okay guys let's move to question b speed of the pebbles just before it hits the water We have U, T, S, and G. We can use VUI and also VUS because we have all the information except V. I'm going to use VU add because it is more simple. So I just substitute U with 0, G 9.81 and T 0 0.9. And I got V equals to negative 8.3 meter per second. This negative sign means that the direction of the velocity is downwards while the speed of the pebbles just before it hits the water is 8.30 meter per second. Alright, let's move to the last question, number 54 from your fee x question. An arrow is fired at a speed of 45 meter per second at an angle of 30 degree above the horizontal calculate its maximum height b how long it takes to reach the maximum height c how long it takes to return to the same horizontal level as it started at and d the distance travel horizontally to the point of return in c okay guys we only have two information V is equals to 45 meter per second and this is represent the initial velocity U equals to 45 meter per second with the angle 30 degree. Okay, we need this to resolve arrow this U is having to a UX fully projectile and UY motion. So our UX is U cos theta and UY is U, sub, U sin theta. Substitute the values of u and theta. We got ux equals to 38.97 meter per second, while uy 22.5 meter per second. Question A, maximum height, S. So this maximum height represents the vertical component, y component. Okay, so we need to find sy. Okay guys, so at maximum height, what is equals to 0? Yes, V. V is equals to 0. So V what? V Y. Okay, the vertical component of velocity V Y is equals to 0 at maximum height. How to find S Y? V u g yes use v as v y square equals to u y square minus 2 g s y 
substitute and we got sy equals to positive 25.81 meter question b time at maximum height t guys there are two formula to find t we can use vu add and also so that so i'm gonna use vu add okay substitute v u and g we got our t equals to 2.29 second move to question c reach same horizontal time to reach same horizontal so s y or okay, s x so we need to find t s y equals to zero okay why it is equals to zero because the final displacement for vertical component is equals to the initial initial position of the vertical component so s y is equals to zero Okay, for this question, I'm going to use SUTAT. Okay, substitute SY with 0, UY with 22.5 meter per second, and G equals to 9.81. So, our T will be equals to 0 and also 4.59 seconds. So, we took T equals to 4.59 second. Okay, for the time to reach the same horizontal guys this is the last question for our session question d the distance travel horizontally so this is s x Okay, so Sx. Yes, Sx equals to Uxt. So, we already calculate Ux and also T. Substitute. So, we got our Sx equals to 178.87 meter. We reached the final question for this lesson. What have you learned today, guys? Let's list out the formulas for the projectile motion in a sticker notes. Paste it on your wall. Make it nice and aesthetic because sometimes the smallest step in the right direction end up being the biggest step of your life for your success. Thank you for your attention. Goodbye. And Assalamualaikum.